everyone, I want to introduce you to this very large mirror that I purchased from Cash Liquidations, which takes me to my garage again. This mirror is so large, but it is actually perfect size for my mantle area. Okay, now I have created a cutout of the actual shape of the mirror, and I have applied it using painter's tape all the way around the edge of the mirror. So now I'm ready to do some light sanding to get rid of some minor scratches on the actual surface of the mirror, and then after that, we will begin spray painting. Now this is a sanding sponge. It is the 3M Sandblaster. It's 60 coarse and it's just like holding a sponge in your hand when you are doing your dishes. Now the sanding is now complete and now I'm going to simply spray on this Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Coverage Metallic Bright Gold spray paint around the edges. Now, as I stated earlier, I'm in the garage and I did raise the garage door just a little bit. So I am actually starting to spray paint the actual mirror. And for the sake of protecting my camera, I'm going to have to turn the camera off because it is a little windy outside. Okay, the spray paint is now dry and now I am simply applying some of the metallic wax along the surface throughout the entire mirror that's inside around the edges and on the outside, just lightly just moving across the surface. Then I'm simply going to take a cloth and just apply a little pressure that's going to make this wax really, really shine into an antique gold. Now you may say, why didn't you actually just go ahead and use the actual gold leafing wax directly onto the mirror? Well, the actual rub and buff tube is about maybe $7 and then the actual spray paint is only about $3. I gain the coverage that I want with the spray paint and I get the official look that I want with the actual rub and buff gold leafing wax. So therefore I do accomplish a whole lot on a dime, practically saving money at the same time. Okay, now I have applied the rub and buff and now we're gonna wait for about five minutes. Then I'm going to come back and begin rubbing that with a small cloth to make sure that it turns into that nice polished antique finish. Now I've taken an old washcloth, I dipped it in water and I just let it dry in the garage, just let it drip dry. It's gonna dry really, really stiff. That makes it the perfect buffing tool for rubbing against this wax and bringing out that antique finish onto the mirror. Now this is my final step. All I have to do is spray on this Krylon Triple Thick Clear Crystal Glaze. And I can tell you it's gonna go on rather milky white and then it's going to dry clear and it's going to be fabulous. I use this a lot and one of the things I want to remind you is to make sure that you are in a well ventilated area, follow the instructions on the back and you will have perfect results. Now this now, cloudy is area right here on the bottom left is actually where I sprayed heavy coats of glaze and this is throughout. I apply several coats all at once. Now what I'm simply going to do is go ahead and remove my paper before that glaze actually dries so I don't have bits of paper around the edge of the mirror. Our glaze is officially dry. I can tell by that hammered look on top of the surface. You see, this happens when you put a glaze, a spray on glaze, on top of a spray painted surface. I had this to happen on another piece of furniture and I absolutely loved it. Now I can simply spread on a different color wax with my fingertips, creating more of a textured look on the mirror. Doesn't this look great? Now I love mixing mediums, so I've actually just went ahead, took the risk, and I applied some of this silver leaf rub and buff to the top where you saw all of those little bubbles and indentations. Now in my painted hand is the lid to a precious metals, and it's actually a premium leaf finish. 
And all I'm simply doing is lightly painting it on my surface and then moving on. That's all that it is. And what it is doing is just simply adding some gold leafing to it. It's just gonna make it sparkle just a little bit. It's like adding glitter to furniture without actually applying the gold leaf sheets. Very easy to do. Take a little sponge like so, dip in and just wipe. And that's it, just wipe. Do you see that nice sparkle coming through now? Very easy, and then continue onward. Makes it a great finish. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Not a lot of hard work at all to pizzazz up a piece of furniture.